What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video here in our audio series. Today we're talking about the stereo fixer effect here in DaVinci Resolve. This is a great effect if you have a recording or an audio track that happens to be a stereo track, but maybe it's only coming out of one speaker for some reason. You know, you only got the right channel coming out or the left channel and you want it to spread across the stereo speakers, but you don't want to use a mono track. So I've got a few examples here that we're going to run through. I'm going to show you how the stereo fixer effect works on uh, one vocal track of me. And then I have a bunch of different sound clips where I've purposely panned it one way or the other. And I'm going to show you how the stereo fixer effect can fix that problem and put it to both stereo tracks here. So as always, we're going to run through the window of the effects. I'm going to explain it all to you, break it down, try and make it simple for you and tell you what each little knob and button does in the effect. But hey, if you just stumbled on this tutorial and you're new here, my name's Jay Yudlovsky, and here we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, a little bit of YouTube tips to help you grow your YouTube channel, and even some gear stuff, because we all love gear stuff, right? So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. All right, let's jump on over to DaVinci Resolve and check out this stereo fixer effect. So we're in DaVinci Resolve here, and like I said, I've got a few clips in my timeline here, and one of the things to know is that you can add this effect onto either a clip, each clip, or you can add it onto the entire track. In this example, we're going to be adding it to a clip since I've got several clips in the same track and they may not need all of the same, uh, you know, processing on the effect here. So you can add this effect in the edit tab if you would like. And to find it, just come on up to your effects library right here. You want to come on down to audio effects right here and you have stereo fixer right here. So in order to add it onto a clip, you would just click hold, drag and drop it on the clip that you want to add it to. So that's how you would do it in the edit tab here, but I want to jump over into Fairlight just because I like working with my audio in Fairlight. So to get over into Fairlight, just come on over here and click on the two musical notes at the bottom of your screen. Once you're in Fairlight, I got my clips here. Now I do want to apply it to the individual clips like I already mentioned, but you can also add it to the track. So if you want to add it to your entire track, maybe, you know, the whole track of audio needs some fixing, you can come on up here and make sure you've got your mixer open right here. Come on down to your mixer and you want to look under effects right here. Now, if you don't see the effects, as always, click on the three little dots right here. Make sure you see effects right here. And then if you come back here and you still can't see it, you may need to use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down to find it. So come on to effects, click the little plus icon. Then you want to come on down to tools, Fairlight effects, and you have the stereo fixer right here. Go ahead and click on that. So that's going to open it up on the track level. And we'll use this just to run over the window and uh, explain it all to you here real quick. So like the rest of our effects windows here in the audio series, we've got a lot of the same items at the top. We've got our reset button here. Under our three little dots here, we have lock plugin window and the preset manager. Next, we have a little plus icon where we can add in our own presets. We have our presets that would be listed right here where it says default. There's no default presets in here, so there's nothing there right now, but that's where they would be if you add them in. You've got two arrows to cycle through your presets, if you have any. You've got your A, B buttons, which will allow you to make settings on one channel and then switch to another with different settings, just so you can hear the difference between the two channels, if you're interested in that. And I've got a video a little more in detail on that. Link above, you can go check that out if you're interested. Next, you have your toggle on and off for the effect. This will turn it on and off. If you see the red mark, that means your effect's on, you're good to go. Next, we have our input levels here. That's going to tell you the level of the signal coming into the effect. Now, in the format section, we've got a few different options here. So up here under format, you've got different uh, methods of trying to correct your audio. So starting at the first one here, you've got stereo, and that's uh, the default. That means it's not converting anything or changing anything. It's just leaving it in the stereo format that it is. The next one, the two arrows here is swap side to side. So it'll make the left channel the right channel and the right channel the left channel. It'll just switch them. The next one here we have is mono, and that's going to make your stereo clip or track into a mono signal as opposed to staying with stereo. The next icon here is left only, and that means that the left input is being sent to both the left and right outputs. And likewise, the next icon here is right only. So if you only have audio coming out of your right stereo channel, you can go ahead and click this and it's going to send that same signal to both sides. And the last icon we have here is the mid side input. And uh, this one, I got to be honest, a little confusing for me. So I'm just going to read it to you here from uh, the manual of what this actually does. It says the left output is the left mid input minus the right input side. And the right output is the left mid input plus the right input side. I almost think I need a graph or a chart or something to show me what that means. So you're probably not going to need that one. And in my experience in using this effect, I haven't needed that one. So that's what it says out of the manual. And uh, if you're having trouble and none of the other ones are working, maybe give that one a try. But uh, 
Sounds a little bit like gibberish to me. So I think that one's a little bit confusing, but let's jump back in here and check out the rest of the window. And down on the bottom here, we have our output gain. So this lets you apply more or less gain for the right or left channel. So for the left channel, if I want less gain, I drag it down. And if I want more gain, I drag it up. And same with the right, you can reduce the gain a little bit or bring it up. And this I found is going to help you balance it out. You know, you might want to start with one of these up here. Maybe that'll work and that'd be great. But if it doesn't, you want to come down here and by adjusting these knobs, that's really what's going to uh, fix that um, stereo for you. Give it, you know, more to one side or the other. And we'll see that in a second here. And the last thing on the right here is our output meter. You may lose a little bit of signal, so you may need to boost it up a little bit at the end. All right, so that's the window run through. Now I've got some examples we're going to go through. We're going to just see how it sounds and how we can use this effect to, you know, pan the things back where they're supposed to be. Now you can always just change it to a mono track if that's what you want and that works for your clip. But the examples I have here are just to show you how this effect works. And, you know, it's going to vary by situation whether you need to use this effect or you need to just go ahead and make it a mono. You know, maybe it doesn't matter. So, so keep that in mind. It's not an exact science with these particular clips that I need to do it this way. It's just an option of how you can try and fix things when things are out of whack a little bit with your stereo channels. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my headphones here so I can hear what's going on in Resolve here. So let's play through the first clip. This is a microphone recording, and like I said, you could leave this in mono, but for example's sake, I'm going to show you how to uh, fix it with the stereo fixer here. So let's go ahead and play through this and hear how it sounds without any stereo fixing. And you can even see in our waveforms here, uh, you know, on the, the left track here, we've got more signal going through than on the right track. So let's listen to hear how that sounds real quick. Here is an audio sample. We're using a stereo track. And when I recorded my audio, it was panned to one side. Oops, I don't want that. We could use a mono track, but for example, if you need a stereo track, use the stereo fixer to fix it, just like we're going to do with this clip. Okay, so you can hear if you had headphones on or if you have, uh, you know, two speakers of right and left, that it's only coming out of the left speaker. So what I want to do is grab my stereo fixer effect. And since we're going to add it on just the clips, I'm going to come to my effects library. Make sure you're on your audio effects, stereo fixer, drag and drop. Boom. There we go. So let's move this window over a little here. Now I'm just going to come back to the beginning of my clip. And right now we're just in normal stereo. And uh, we'll, I'm just going to click through these so you can see how they work real quick. Going to go right down the line. You can watch on the screen as I click through them and see if you hear a difference. Here is an audio sample. We're using a stereo track. And when I recorded my audio, it was panned to one side. Oops, I don't want that. We could use a mono track, but for example, if you need a stereo track. So some of those sounded like they did an okay job of starting to spread it out. But if we look at our meters, we could see that they were never quite equal. So what I want to do is actually just leave this on stereo and I want to play with these outputs a little bit. So I know my right channel is a little low. I'm not getting enough out of there, but I could see I've got something there. So let's just boost up the gain there and kind of see how that sounds. Here is an audio sample. We're using a stereo track. And when I recorded my audio, it was panned to one side. Oops, I don't want that. We could use a mono track, but for example, if you need a stereo track, use the stereo fixer to fix it, just like we're going to do. So you can see by the end there, it balanced it out a little bit. You know, it drops down the levels a little, but that, that did help a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's one way that you could do it. Now, let's say uh, maybe I had nothing in that other track. Um, we could try to just go mono here. And this is helpful if you want maybe just one clip to go mono, but not the whole track, you know? So let's play through that, hear how that sounds. Here is an audio sample. We're using a stereo track. And when I recorded my audio, it was panned to one side. Oops, I don't want that. We could use a mono track, but for example, if you need a... So you noticed even when I put it on mono, I still had to adjust the output gains a little bit just so it sounded better in my ear. So you would just have to go through your particular clip, try it out and see how it works out and come up with the best settings for your particular clip. All right, I'm going to close that. Let's move on to the next clip. So here's the next clip that I got. So just some drums there. Again, it's going to the left side. So I'm going to grab my stereo fixer, drop it on there, and let's see what we can do. Let's try this left only, see how that works out. No, that didn't work. Let's try the right only. So you can hear how I cut it down quite a bit. Let's go back to stereo here. And now I'm just going to boost up the right, see what happens with that. And I feel like I want to bring down the left as well. And it would probably be helpful just to loop this so we don't have to keep playing it over and over again. So I think that sounds a little bit better. You notice now our meters are off in the other direction. It looks like the right is higher. But when I'm listening to it in my headphones, that sounds uh, relatively equal. So again, you're going to have to play with it and see what works best for your clip. 
So now let's uh, move ahead. I've got uh, a few other clips here. Let's try one on the other side, that one that's panned to the right. So let's come in here and just select this guy. And again, I'm going to grab my stereo fixer, drop it on here. And uh, let's play through and we're just going to see what we can make happen here. So now this one, I was able to get the levels to be a lot closer together. And I think that that works out pretty good. And again, you got to go through and just try these different things, see what works best for your clip. But I think that definitely helps to uh, even it out a little bit. And then maybe if I just made it mono too, I don't know. Let's hear how that sounds. So in this case, setting it just to mono, that's just fine too. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And uh, let's just try one more here or uh, this last little clip I've got here of somebody talking. And we'll go ahead, drag that stereo fixer, drop it on there. All right, I'm going to play through that, loop it, and uh, we're going to play with our settings a little bit here, see what happens. Come on, you can do, 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 come on. So you see, you've got a few options there. The mono works great. The uh, right only worked great. And I didn't have to touch the output gains at all. So you've got a lot of options. You just have to see what works best for your particular clip. All right, guys, that is it. That is the stereo fixer effect. I have used this on occasion, not too often, but it is nice to know that you've got the option to kind of pan stuff around if you need to and kind of help fix some audio that maybe only is coming out of one channel for whatever reason. So that is it for this one. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.